it's a normal size for the others, just a small heart. Um, but the sixth grader, he's just too cool for it because he's six That's what I thought, is that I wanted a heart tattooed, but I would let I would let them draw it. So that would be in their their I got an idea for you. You get like you get them all to draw their own heart and you get like a little chain. Of tattoos on there. Yeah. A lot of people oh, that's cute right there. A lot of people do it but they do it on their colors. But see, yeah, I'm being a be ha It have to be the hands, yeah. because that's how we've always done it. Can you do? Can you do teardrops? No. Yes. You do like the teardrops on the side. You know what that means? She did. She did. You know what that means, though? I teared up tattoo. Teardrop for every pushing. My neighbor has one. How much money you kill? Yeah, I'm gonna do that and then be a teacher. Oh, no. Make sure you put on like five. Jen's gonna start breaking you.
the head. So this is medial. Medial epicondyle. And then the really pointy one here, this is called the trochlea. Okay, that's your trochlea. There's also the elbow bone. That and the ra um, where the radius and the ulna are all connecting. So here is your medial epicondyle and your trochlea right there. That's going to Carly. What? what? You're not supposed to have your phone out, Aaron. Are you Carly. judging me? Yes, I am. Thank you. Yeah, Miss Ace Kill. You get on to me when I'm on my phone. Maybe she does. What phone? No, Mr. Clemens. Yeah, Mr. Clemens. <laughs> it's literally sitting right here. You can hey. see it. I'm not on it now. I wouldn't even short it. Don't you get me in trouble. No, whenever there's a. Oh, do you guys know this one? Before I tell you what it is. Oh, that's right. The what? That's your ulna. <laughs> oh, it'd be funny. What are you going to do? Take over my phone? Oh, I just don't know what that subject that way is. Are you going to be my phone? Are you going to be louder? Yes. It's on the slide. Are you? Give me your arm. What are you reading? No. I like this one better. Do they all look the same? Yep. Are those all different? Oh, these two are the same. These two are the same. This one's different. That one's not part of the arms. Which one's not? This is your right here. This is your older. No. Your older is. These two are the same. These two are the same. This one's. The one there should be two of these. Girl was doing a um, 
arm wrestle and her like one of these bones snapped. <gasps> yeah, here, let me see. That was crazy. Ew. I thought your bones should be like stronger than that. They are pretty strong, but still. Oh, I mean. but you're arm wrestling. Wait, can you give me some radius? Thumb is, is radius, pinky ulna. Oh, pinky ulna. Say P U. P U. Pinky ulna. Okay, so on the ulna, this is called olecranon. Olecranon. And then we have an ulna, ulnaris dyloid process. This is a little pokey part. Ulnaris dyloid process. Are you gonna curb those tasks? <laughs> no, you're gonna have to. No, you're gonna have to. Someone's gonna get on one hundred. I can't curb oh, tests. Yeah, you are not gonna do so good. Harley, just, Harley fail. Harley fail. Um, radial sideways process is the yeah. other poking part, right there. We also have a radial tuberosity right here. <laughs> so radial tuberosity, radial sideways process. Holy Cranon, on their styloid process. Support. Why is the looking kind of obvious? Could someone bend like that? Oh, now the hand. Oh, this one's fun. Oh, what is that? Hand. What? Aaron, what are you talking about? Aaron, that's your hand. There's so many bones. Your hand is that one, too. No, it's not so bad. Because I'm going to teach you how to memorize it and get it right every single time. If it doesn't work, I'm super nervous. Because of course I have a technique to memorize it and get it right every single time. I'm waiting. Okay. First of all, phalanges aren't so bad. You've got phalanges, distal, middle, proximal. That's pretty easy. Okay. Now, metacarpals are actually these. These are your metacarpals, the palm. Okay. So that's this part. I want to the fingers are just... Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. Okay, so that's these right here. Oh, okay. Now your wrist is this part right here. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, like this part. The one that bends and sounds like it's snapping? Yeah, all of this, this part. <laughs> now, here's how you do the wrist. <laughs> Try some lovely tarts. Please have candy, too. What? I'm gonna tell you how to do this. There's so much cheese. It's all right. Try some lovely tarts. Please have candy too. That's your mnemonic device to help you remember this. Try some lovely tarts. Please have candy too. Trapezium, scaphoid, lunate, triquitrium. That's a fun one to say. Pisiform, camate, capitate, trapezoid. The cheese will be a little tricky. What? Don't look at my spelling. I'm gonna be like whatever the part is. There are several Ds. Triquitrium, pisiform, camate, capitate, trapezoid. Try some lovely tarts. Please have candy too. Please have candy too. Now, yeah. uh, next oh, slide, I'm going to teach you how to remember them. Don't you dare move slides yet. I'm up. Oh. Okay. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. All right, so distal phalanges, middle phalanges, proximal phalanges, metacarpals, carpals. Okay? Okay. Okay, not so bad. What's the P word? How do you pronounce Physiform? that? One? What? Physiform. 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 So were you skipping an eye? Is it for? Is it for? Sound it out. No, his it. His it. I. Is this? Why isn't it? Is sound. What? Because eyes can make that sound. Did you not go to kindergarten? I failed the kindergarten. Pass it out, Aaron. Pass it out. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Yeah, I can't show that. How do you say the fourth one? Trick. 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 Trick.
Okay. Okay. Here's how you do it. You always find the thumb. Start with the thumb. And you work your way around. Try some lovely tarts. Please have candy too. Oh. Try. Start with the thumb. I think I missed one. Try some lovely tarts. Please have candy too. Okay. Not bad. 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 Not See on that one? Oh, that? Yes. That one's the physical. Oh, this one? Yeah. This whole thing? Yes. Okay. So, oh. try some lovely tarts. Please have candy too. Start at the thumb, go down and around, and you'll get it right. Okay, okay got it. Okay, which one's fused? Which one's fused? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 okay.
the cockroach. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 I didn't draw the picture. I don't like it. Um. It doesn't move like it does. Sacral joint is <laughs> right here. So this would be the sacral joint. <laughs> And what am I missing? The whole thing is called a coxal bone. So this whole thing is coxal bone. Is there two parts that come Yes, down? there are two parts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 This is the outside. Oh, okay. That's up there. Ben. Oh, okay. Okay. that makes sense. This is bad. Yeah, I thought you were You can feel your neck here. Because it's small.
a like tibia or fibula. <laughs> you also have a tibial tuberosity and a medial malus. The medial malus is the really big one that projects down. Medial malus. And so that makes this the lateral malus. Medial malus, lateral malus. And on this one, it's a little harder, but this obviously looks different. So if this is medial, then this side's medial. Medial malus, medial condyle, lateral condyle. So you have to find what looks different. In this case, this one down here is different. So this is medial, this is medial, this is lateral. Make sense? Medial, medial, lateral. That's why you have all the social stars. This is all in Google Classroom. And then we have an intercondyle imminence. That's kind of a fun one. Intercondyle imminence. 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 Intercondyle imminence. Oh, and the foot. This one's nice. This one's not too bad. I always think the foot's not too hard. And here's how I remember the foot. Um, calcaneus. I think it sounds like calluses and you get calluses on your heel. So you get calluses on your heel, so calcaneus is your heel bone. Um, talus is right above that. I don't really have a good way to remember talus. Navicular, I think it looks like a nickel. Is talus the one that connects you to How the leg? How are you getting, yeah, no, that one's not. Which one? Yeah. Because um, if you look at it when you look like this, it's actually flat and round like a nickel. Sure. Round? Yeah, it's flat. Uh, I'm serious, I'm not saying that one. Okay, we'll just which one? try to remember that. <laughs> the navicular. Navicular? Yes. I think it's flat and round like a nickel. Like right there. I don't see what you're looking at. <laughs> cuboid is cubed. So that's cuboid. And then you have medial intermediate and lateral cuneiform. Medial starts with the big toe. Medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform. So as long as you're starting at the big toe, those are pretty easy. Medial, intermediate, lateral cuneiform. Okay. So cuboid looks cube shape. Navicular, I think it looks like a nickel because it's flat like a nickel and round. Talus, Calcaneus, because you get calluses on your heel. Medial, intermediate, lateral, cuneiform. And then you've got your metatarsals and your tarsals. Medial. Tarsals and phalanges. That is not a nickel. Oh my gosh, we have to Use your imagination. And if you can think of a better way to remember it, then by all means do so. Just remember it because I'm telling you what works for me. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to remember it because it's not what it looks like. Yeah. I'm telling you what works for me. Lateral cuboidal. That's great. Orange. <laughs> oh, look, we're done. Thank <laughs> God. This class is making me not like this class. No we haven't even gotten to muscles. Muscles are more fun. Bones are easy. If bones are easy. <laughs> muscles are worse. At least bones are distinctive. Muscles all look the same. And muscles go over and under and crisscross and zigzag. I'm about to go over. The muscles rainbow. are worse. <laughs> all right. So you are continuing to work on your muscle coloring and labeling. Or not muscle. Bone coloring and labeling. You've got the skull one. The skull one is due this week. And you've got the bone one, the bigger packet that's due next week. Do you actually have to label those or do you just color it? That one you just color. There might be one or two pictures like that circle. you have to label. Yeah, or circle or tell you, that'll tell you. Okay. Um, but the skull one you definitely have to label. Okay. And we have to color the skull one, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, you have to color the skull one. Yeah. Questions? On the slideshows, are they the same parts or like the same things? Or are they yes, on the slideshow, it's consistent. Um, if you do go through this box, you're welcome to start kind of exploring it. This little bag has special pieces in it. 
Um, it's got like the hyoid bone, the atlas, and the axis. Keep this bag together. In fact, I may even start keeping this at my desk because I don't want these bones to get lost. So I'll probably keep this at my desk. It's got the hyoid, the atlas, the axis, the coccyx, the patella. So like the little ones that I've pulled out because I don't want them to get lost. So I'm going to keep this at my desk. If you want to look at them, by all means, please do so. I just don't want them to get lost in the box or get lost anywhere else because they're so small. But you guys can start looking at the bones um, to start familiarizing yourself with them. We will do labs going over the bones to help us specifically learn with them and work with them. But right now we're focusing on the coloring. We will do a microscopic bone lab as well. Um, but we're getting to the part where we just really need to start practicing and practicing and working with the, the charts. Is the test for this going to be before or after Thanksgiving? Probably before. I'd rather us do it before. So it's like two weeks. Mm -hmm. okay. I'd rather us do it before. Questions? All right. I'm at least glad that I'm taking the because that's what I was about to do. Because I was going to take this online and then take physiology next semester. I'm kind of glad I didn't decide to do that. This is an all-year Well, I could teach this in a semester if I had to. You could? I could. I just don't want to see me do it. I think we would all be ready to be done. I think I'd cry. Physically cry. How else did you cry? take it in a semester? You took it in a semester? I think you did. Did you cry? Mm -hmm. Oh. I got an A. I cried. Good for you. Do you have photographic memory? Because I sure don't. She's just quiet. I'm not hitting your hands here. I'm not feeling this man. Courtney, which one is this? I am just extremely stubborn. Ben. 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 Tidia. How I'm busy. I'm on top Ah, Nafil. I don't know. I'm just saying, if I just say something scientific, it will sound right. <laughs> Miss Ayers. Yeah. How am I supposed to be about school? <laughs> what do you mean? You're the one that you do it on everything. Multiple, oh. multiple animals. <laughs> Most animals look the same inside. Didn't you learn that in zoology? Yeah. See? Most but it's still going to be horrible. You're the one that wants to do it. I know. Don't remind me. I feel like you're doing it. Extra. Oh, did I just buy the markers? 